Hello families, welcome back to our Eduversity series, where we help expand your perspective with books about diversity and cultural differences. My name is Mrs. McNeil, and today I will be reading the book, Let's Talk About Race by Julius Lester. This book has helped open my heart and mind by having me reflect to identify any preconceived notions and or stereotypes that I may have about people who differ from me. My hope is that you will find your own personal message in this book. Let's Talk About Race by Julius Lester. I am a story, so are you. So is everyone. My story begins the same way yours does. I was born on, take me for example. I was born on January 27th, 1939 in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm kind of old, huh? How does your story begin? Many people and many events are part of my story, and yours too. The names of our parents and where they were born, whether or not we have brothers and or sisters. I had a brother who was nine years older than me, but he is dead. What kind of work our parents do or did. My father was a minister. My mother was a housewife. My story and yours have many elements, such as favorite food, minus fish, hobbies, I like to do crossword puzzles, take photographs, and cook. Favorite color? Red. Or maybe green. But I like orange and purple too. I think my favorite color is all of them. Religion? I'm Jewish. Nationality? I'm from the United States. Favorite time of day? Night. Oh, there's something else that is part of my story. It's part of yours too. That's what race we are. I'm black. What race are you? Just as I am a story, and you are a story, and countries tell stories about themselves, race is a story too. Whether you're black like me, or Asian, Hispanic, or white, each race has a story about itself. And that story is almost always the same. My race is better than your race. Some stories are true. Some are not. Those who say, my race is better than your race, are telling a story that is not true. Why would some people say their race is better than another? Because they feel bad about themselves. Because they are afraid. Because. But there are other ways all of us, even me, even you, think we are better than others. I am better than you because I live in... I'm better than you because I go to blank school. I'm better than you because I'm a boy. I'm better than you because I'm a girl. I'm better than you because my dad or mom makes more money than your dad or mom. I'm better than you because I'm white. I'm better than you because I'm black. I'm better than you because I'm Hispanic. I'm better than you because I'm Asian. None of these stories are true. Are they? I want to tell a true story, but I need your help. Here's what I want you to do. Take your fingers and press them softly against your skin right below your eyes. Be careful and don't poke yourself in the eye. Okay, now press gently until you feel the hard bone right beneath the surface. Now, if your mom, dad, brother, sister, or a friend is close by, ask them if you can touch them. If they say okay, Take your fingers and press softly at the same place beneath their eyes. Press gently until you feel the hard bones right beneath the skin. Now press someplace else on your body, on your arm, chest, head. Press anywhere until you feel the hard bones beneath your skin. Beneath everyone's skin are the same hard bones. If you were to go outside without your skin on and without your hair on your head, turn the page and see what you would look like. But you want to know something? If I went outside without my skin, my mustache, and the hair on my head, what little I have left, I would look just like you, and you would look just like me. Suppose, just suppose, one day we, I mean everyone in the whole world, decided to take off all our clothes and all our skin and all our hair. 
Then we would do what we do normally every day. Go to school, go to work, play, and shop. Everything would be normal except we would look at each other and couldn't tell who was a man, who was a woman, who was white, black, Hispanic, or Asian. Which story shall we believe? The one that says my race is better than yours? Or the one we just discovered for ourselves? Beneath our skin, I look like you, and you look like me, and she looks like her and him, and he looks like him and her, and we look like them and they look like us. When I look at you, which story do I see? Do I see only the color of your skin, the shape of your eyes, the texture of your hair? Do I look at you and think, I know your story when I don't even know your name? Or do I look at you and wonder, what's your name? When were you born? Where were you born? Where do you live? What do you like? What don't you like? Gee, maybe we like and dislike some of the same things. What's your name? When were you born? What do you like? Where were you born? What don't you like? Your race is not all that you are. My race is not all that I am. Yes, I am black, but I am also a man. I am of medium height. I have a deep voice and a loud laugh. I love to laugh, do you? I live in a big house in the woods in a small town. I like pancakes and macaroni and cheese and, and, and. I am so, so, so many things besides my race. To know my story, you have to put together everything I am. Like, I bet you didn't know I have asthma. Beneath the skin, we all look alike. You and me. I'll take off my skin. Will you take off yours? What do you think the author, Julius Lester, meant by... I will take off my skin. Will you take off yours? Surely, we all know it's impossible to take off our skin. So what do you think the author meant by that? Discuss that with your friends and family. Another thing I'd like you to think about is what do you think of when you first meet someone? Do you immediately think about the way that they look, the way that they talk, or do you think about maybe what you guys do or don't have in common? Talk about that with your friends and family as well. Thank you all for listening.